Hello little wolves! Today we are going to go over the main events of our story Wolf Island. We will also discuss the genre or the type of the story and we will also integrate science in today's story. So let us begin. What is the genre of our story? The genre of our story is a realistic fiction. A realistic fiction is not real. It is a made-up story that has characters, a plot, and setting. So, a realistic fiction is a made-up story. It is not real. However, it involves characters, settings, and problems that are realistic, which means they could really happen. Now, what are the story elements of Wolf Island? Let's begin with the characters. Characters are the people or animals in the story. Now, we all know that we have major and minor characters. Main characters are the most important characters in the story. So who were the characters in our story? We had the wolves who were the major characters and most events revolved around them. There were also the deer, mice, owls, rabbits, and foxes, because as you all know, in any environment, there is a relationship between all living things in this environment or ecosystem. So I guess you can tell that wolves depend on deer because it's their main, it's their main source of food. And owls depend on mice because they feed on mice. Rabbits and deer, they feed on grasses and fruits, as well as vegetables. And foxes are carnivores. They eat mice and they also eat deer. Okay, now what was the setting? Where did the story take place? The story took place in the mainland. There is also the island, which is the main home for the wolves. However, most events took place in the mainland. The events also happened over a year because you can tell that um, we read events that happened in spring, summer, and autumn, as well as winter. So, moving on to the plot. The plot is the events that make up a story. So, of course, we need to focus on the major events that happened in the story. In the beginning... The wolf pups were playing on the beach while their mother and father slept. They found a raft, climbed onto it, and sniffed about. They were really curious about the raft. They have never seen such thing before. The raft began to drift slowly until they, there was nothing but water all around. They started howling and their parents swam out and climbed aboard. In the middle of the story, the raft reached the mainland away from the wolf's island. Time passed and it was winter time. Rabbits, mice, owls, deer, and even wolves were thin and hungry. There wasn't enough food during winter time, especially when ice or snow fell. The weather grew colder and colder until ice began to form in the water around the island and along the mainland coast. So... Good thing ice formed on the water. It'll, it will help the wolves to go back to their homeland, which was the island. At the end, the wolf family crossed the ice and returned to their old home. They were very hungry and there were many sick deer to eat. Finally, spring came, snow melted, and grass and leaves began to grow. There was enough food for all the animals to eat. Now, how is this story related to science? As we all know, animals or living things depend on each other to survive because when they feed on one another, it gives them energy to grow and to survive. So, in the story, we had several food webs. Now, what is a food web? A food web is several food chains within. So, when I say that 
deer are eaten by wolves and foxes. This shows that the path of energy is moving from the deer to the wolves and foxes. When deer feed on grasses and leaves, this means that they are getting energy from plants. Okay. When owls feed on mice, the energy is moving from the mice to the owls. So this shows the path of energy moving between living things or organisms. Now, as we said, wolves feed on deer and deer feed on grasses and leaves. So you see how energy is moving? Good job. What will happen to both populations? Now, in the story, we read that there wasn't enough deer on the mainland because it was really cold and they couldn't find enough food. And the wolves had to feed on the deer to survive. However, the population of the deer increased on the island, which was the wolves' home. Why? Because the wolves were on the mainland. They weren't on the same island as the deer. So the population on the island grew and it increased. But when the wolves retur returned to the island, they started feeding on the deer. So there was no increase in the number of deer. There was enough food for everyone and life was balanced on the island again. Okay, sweethearts, make sure to try all the exercises on the UC page to check for your understanding.